Hey family, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys all had a great long Labor Day weekend. Welcome to today's session of Daily Bread. Today's Daily Bread is titled, Sin's Antidote. And I'm going to read to you from Psalm 119, verse 133, which says, Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we read that God's word brings refreshment, wisdom, joy, and light. Now, when you have those four things, what more could you possibly need in your life? I'm going to read you one of three accounts where Jesus was tested by Satan in the wilderness and how Jesus used his word to keep him from sinning. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 through 4 says, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted for forty days and forty nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But Jesus answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. In these four verses, Satan comes to Jesus in his most vulnerable state. But yet, Jesus refused to sin. He lived out his word in that he didn't allow sin to rule over him in his most vulnerable state, his state of hunger. Rather, he used his word to feed himself by quoting truth, reminding himself that God will provide and will sustain those who trust and believe in his word. There are many people who suffer from bondage to sin, and sin comes in various forms. It comes in forms of alcoholism, addiction, abuse, all things in which man alone cannot bring under his own control. Thus, he needs the Word of God to help him. Let's take alcohol abuse as an example. I'm not saying that drinking alcohol is a sin, but drinking alcohol can lead to sin, especially if you are one who suffers from lack of self-control. Drinking alcohol to someone may just be a form of relaxation, where drinking alcohol for someone else who is very vulnerable and weak to alcohol can very well hurt somebody, be it in a car accident, mental abuse, physical abuse, you name it. For the one who abuses alcohol, which leads them to do things that they would otherwise not do if they weren't drinking, there are a few verses that one can quote to themselves when they are faced with that temptation to drink alcohol. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 1 says that wine is a mocker and beer a brawler. And again, what does God's word provide us with? Refreshment, wisdom, joy, and light. Now if we're allowing our sin that comes from drinking alcohol or pick your poison, if we allow that sin to overrule our lives, we will never be refreshed, we will never attain wisdom, we will never have joy, and we will never see light. So today, I encourage you to fill yourself with God's word, and may it keep you from being overruled by sin. May the Lord bless you, keep you, shine his face upon you, and give you peace. In Jesus' name.